good morning everyone so today i'm going to discuss on the digital library and how to plan or how to join into nadra or on the national academic digital repository of ethiopia uh, what i feel <coughs> that if we are going if it is mandatory to join into technology or to join into nadra first and foremost we have to have the concept what doing by digital library why we need it what is ir so how we are going to plan it we have to discuss all uh, these uh, issues so we i do have some content that we are going to discuss over here uh, introduction part what doing by digital library what is ir or institutional repository and the vision and the mission of aksum university uh, second one is how to plan to join into nadra we do have uh, uh, already studied the sort analysis of <coughs> our library in aksum university and we do have some strategic plans how to join into nadra and we have analyzed the stakeholders of uh, stakeholder analysis and we have to have uh, mm -hmm. uh, answer or we do have some uh, issues or challenging of this policy guidelines for ir or institutional repository so why digitize why we need digital uh, we do have uh, we can provide a better access a better access and we can add values to resources uh, if it is if your resource or your research or your uh, paper is not uh, unknown if it is not unused it may not be uh, valuable so it should be uh, pro provided to make information assets and more readable available and also uh, digital supports educational and research activities of course as dr kiros have been talking a lot about research activities so if it is digitalized we can provide or we can access information easily and we can grow up uh, grow up uh, our uh, 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 steps uh, to, and also to fulfill strategic mission and goals of the uh, organization or for example axiom university what are the missions and visions to achieve this mission and visions we have to have the digital uh, library or it should be in digital format the way you are accessing whether it is uh, inside the campus or outside the campus or in the national wide or worldwide we have to share our resources and also to eliminate redundant workers and creation of redundant assets like photographs, slides, digitals, and etc. Uh, this is why we need uh, digital. When we come to uh, ourselves into our Axiom University library, what it looks like <coughs> in technology concept actually, we have implemented the digital library, just we have started actually. We use the DSpace software. Uh, this space software and we have been collecting uh, some uh, around 1624 different books uh, into uh, the digital uh, uh, these are ebooks actually so you can access it in the intranet based not outside the campus you can access inside the campus but we feel that this is not enough actually we have to go further this is not uh, fully digital we have to go further and digital concept so let's come to uh, what is ir what is ir actually broadly speaking digital library and ir are not different they are similar thing actually uh, to mean that digital library covers all kind of uh, resources or all kind of materials ca ca res uh, are available in digital format this is the uh, definition of digital uh, library actually so what do you mean by the ir institutional repository covers whatever the recorded data or it can be document it can be information it should be produced by the institution or it should be produced by the Axiom University itself. But there is nothing different with digital library concept actually. So it can be thesis, it can be dissertation, it can be any research or uh, even though it can be past examination questions uh, and also some uh, videos, seminars, reports and so on. This is 
already pro provided by the institution or by Axiom University. So what is the vision of Axiom University? Here we do have, we have already uh, provided from the uh, Axiom University or the institution. Uh, by 2020, Axiom University aspires to be University of first choice for high quality learning research environment and a genuine sense of community. This is a vision actually. Then uh, what's the mission? Mission. Our mission is to serve the nation by providing Learn, learner uh, centered education, education research in sync with the national interest and productive and responsive communities engagement via value added partnerships. This is the original vision and mission of Axiom University actually. So, how we are going to achieve this mission and vision we are going to discuss. It's okay. Am I audible, guys? Right? So, it's okay. So what's the plan for joining NADRA? Here we do have the organizational mandates. As organization, what they have to do? Here I have mentioned top management should have IR know-how. They have to be aware of the what doing by institutional, what is advantage, what is the value that, that is going to be added uh, as institutional. And uh, second one is, budget funding this is an issue actually challenging issue overall in the country or the nation and another one is set a workshop like this it should be sustainable workshop to go uh, sustainability so uh, we do have sort analysis what is the strengths what is the weakness opportunities and treaties of here in axiom university uh, we do have of course dedicated staffs and human resources or experienced staffers. And also we have a positive image and power of competition with other universities or with uh, other organizations. And relationship with other organizations. We do have a good relationship with other organizations. We can share what we want. And we do have also strong relationship with ICT director because we can we our mission or our vision we cannot achieve without the help or with the cooperation of ICT we cannot so we should have a strong relationship even though we do have uh, uh, another one is working hours 24 per seven days we are giving service as library and stuff uh, and uh, we do have a good or comfortable reading area this is all about the strengths of the uh, AKU. And weakness, we have uh, budget rules, actually. I'm not going to talk a lot about this issue because it's already known. And low credit for librarians. And also no out-to-date resources or links of for library. Uh, we don't have link or latest websites that provide us uh, uh, the information about our library and uh, no sufficient security actually we do have manual uh, management but it is not uh, digital we don't have camera something something so i make it not uh, sufficient security and human resources or lack of in-housing training with outside training like uh, this training it's not much and less collection of books as i have discussed before uh, even though we do have this space but we do have less collection of books uh, as university or as institutional 1600 or around 2000 books is nothing actually we are just on the way but uh, uh, not enough and we have also weak connection this is our weakness uh, what are the good opportunities? Uh, networking or cooperation with other libraries or with other organizations, and also new employee appointment. This is a good opportunity. Uh, and IT professional staffers, when it comes to librarian staff, most of the staffers, they are from the background of IT uh, professions, actually. And also top management have a positive image to make digital. 
nowadays uh, the top management ha actually it's uh, they are eager to join into the uh, digital uh, format so this is a good opportunity that we can have it what are the treats uh, we do have budget cut I already <laughs> repeat the issue because it is uh, a little challenging change of uh, change perception of students concerning the role of library uh, for example this digital will uh, will be um, real with the uh, internet actually you cannot do it anything without internet if it is uh, internet is already there if it internet is already available the internet by nature it is more fun so the student might forget their uh, 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 studies or accessing the material or information that is provided by the uh, institution and increasing number of computer shops this is also another territory actually when we come to fully digital our library of course most of the students professional uh, professors whoever in the community or in the university they might uh, uh, join or access the uh, <coughs> internet or computer so we have to increase the uh, buying of computers uh, less commitment of researchers students uh, let's see many changes in a very short time period which means staffs are not uh, stable as we all of, uh, know we do have uh, uh, GHS and other issues so staffs are not uh, stable if someone starts the work and they will uh, shift to another place or to another position so this will be another trait this is end of sort analysis actually so the strategic plan here of course, within the mission, we have to set realistic goals and objectives or activities of the um, uh, project. How does project meet the mission of the institution? We have to answer these WH questions. We have already mentioned the mission, uh, uh, vision and the mission of Axiom Universities. So on our strategic plan, how we are going to achieve our mission or our vision. How does the project provide a solution to the need stated earlier, of course, and who is involved is going to involve on the uh, uh, new implemented or digital or IR? Uh, who is being served? And is it realistic or overly ambitious? We have to answer this uh, WH question is on strategic plan. And we do have another uh, a title with uh, stakeholders analysis who are the key users to uh, participate or uh, who are the key users or stakeholders we do have academics library staffs students administrators internal research staff external research staff and others actually and we do have here the business plan uh, we expect after this uh, end of training how we, how we will implement or i hope we will gain some uh, basic concepts that will uh, invite us to uh, to to continue our uh, implementation so experts will give us a workshop i have mentioned here policy guidelines for ir this is a little challenging when we are going to uh, implement ir we have to discuss on the uh, policy issues. What are the issues? Content and collection policies, we do have, of course, and submission process, copyright and license, and metadata, privacy policy, uh, service policies. I will mention this in detail, actually. What do you mean by content policy? How will your collection be organized? For example, will content be grown by academic research? or the subject by type academic research sorry academic department thesis etc uh, so we have to focus on these issues actually uh, who determines and authorizes the submitters it's the question is for the audience actually so we will 
uh, uh, the content guidelines, what type of content you are going to accept or the institutional repository will accept. Is it published, preprint, working papers, and so on? A lot of uh, data types are, or contents are there. So which one we are going to uh, accept into IR? Who can submit content? Faculty, staff, librarian, uh, and so on. Whom, what must be the work? Is it educational or research oriented? We have to answer this question too. Uh, will the repository accept peer-reviewed or non-peer-reviewed? This is also. Uh, what type of document you will accept? Text, image, audio, video? These are uh, another issue. Submission <coughs> procedure. When we are submitting, what will be the procedure? Is there an approval process for content being submitted? Uh, are submitters notified of an item's progress in the submission process? And are there content size limits for individual items or individual faculty members, or there is no limit? We have to uh, discuss on this too. Uh, metadata. Which metadata standard? Most of the time, this metadata uh, will be on the, it depends on the software platform that we are going to use, actually. So who is authorized to enter the metadata? Who is going to uh, uh, check the or to, uh, uh, to, to what you call it, to correct mistakes or to correct these errors? So is there an approval process for metadata? This is also another issue. And uh, another one, user and privacy policy. As, uh, as I have already told you that institutional repository is already the information that can be provided by the institution itself. So is there any uh, policies or privacy policies? If you are not interested to uh, release out, outside of Axiom University, so the, uh, the institution should protect or should give you the privacy. Uh, so uh, will you have a user agreement with end users of the system? Is there any agreement between the end users and your system? And also, you, will your interest, uh, will your uh, institution a privacy policy for those who register with the system? Of course, uh, uh, this is already W H questions that we have to consider or we have to concentrate on. Uh, so uh, this is the last but not the least. How does the project help fulfill institutional uh, missions and goals? How we are going to fulfill. So of course after we complete or we implement the institutional repository or we are going to join into uh, NADRA, of course we provide information whether it is published or non-published by Axiom University and increase user base and also increase impact of academic research. Sorry? Okay, sorry and create more efficient workflows, manage learning materials, and support educational function of the institution. Of course, it encourages open access 